Hello guys and welcome to my kitchen. Our recipe for today is one of the most classic comfort food dishes of all times. Meatballs in tomato sauce. The most mouth-watering meatballs in a rich tomato sauce with a kick of cumin that will fill your house with aromas. Just follow my instructions step by step. So let's begin. First of all, we have to prepare the meatballs. For the meatballs, the recipe is very easy. First, we have to prepare the bread. We have sandwich bread. So take a cheese grater and grate your bread. You can use also a food processor, but you don't want to. We want to use as few utensils as we can in our kitchen because nobody wants to wash after. So bread is ready. Bravo. And now it's time for the rest of the ingredients. Now, I have one onion and one garlic, and this we have to grate also. So, also nobody wants to smell like onion, so that's why you have to wear gloves. And easy cheesy, just grate your onion. I will follow the classic mama recipe, so my mother doesn't chopping the onion, she's just grating the onion. So I will show you the same way. Now, the onion is ready. Let's grate also the garlic, the same way like Mama do, with the cheese grater. Nice, 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 nice. And now, we have to squeeze everything because we don't want any liquids of the onions inside the meatballs. We don't want the liquid because the liquid is acidic and actually will destroy the flavor of the meatballs. And this is something we don't want. Now, take this lovely paste, of garlic and onion, along with the bread, and let's carry on with the rest of the ingredients. Now, I have some lovely ground pork. You can use beef. You can also use mix of them. And let's add the rest of the ingredients. One egg, cumin, oregano, some thyme, we love thyme. and of course some mint. In Greece, if you try to make meatballs and you don't add mint, nobody will eat them because mint is the main ingredient of meatballs. Now, chop, chop everything. Thyme, mint, and loveliness. Put everything inside the bowl. And of course, salt and pepper. You need about 15 grams of salt, and you have to season well at this point because otherwise it's not possible to add any salt inside the meatballs after we prepare the meal. So don't be cheapy. We need almost one tablespoon of salt and of course pepper. If you want to make them spicy, at this point you can add some chili flakes, you can add some paprika, you can add whatever you want. I will go simply, but of course I will add some drops of extra virgin Greek olive oil because extra virgin Greek olive oil has this lovely taste that actually will transfer inside the meatballs. Now, the oil is enough and now it's time for... I need again my gloves. I will heat up my oil here and I will mix everything together. My yaya, my grandmother, says that the more you need, the tastier will become. So, knead the dough. And at this point, if you have free time, please let this dough to rest for about two to three hours inside the fridge. I know that you cannot wait two to three hours. That's why I already prepared one dough inside the fridge to carry on with my recipe. You can see that, look. This is the new one. This is the prepared one. I know that everybody is extremely surprised right now with my professionality, but this is how I work. Now, <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> now, let's carry on with the recipe. As you can see, the color of the meat changed a little bit. It's normal. It becomes more white because of the marinade. So if you leave it inside the fridge, it will become more white and this is something we want. Now, 
My oil is preheated to 180 degrees Celsius and now I have to make some lovely meatballs. We want a mouthful with meatballs. Look, and this is flour. We have to put them in flour because we want to make a nice crust when we deep fry them. So, wait for two to three minutes until I finish all my meatballs. Now, meatballs are ready. And this way, make sure that the flour goes everywhere. Bravo. And it's time to deep fry them. Take off the excess flour and make a fast bath of meatballs inside the oil. 180 degrees. We don't want to cook them. We want only to give a nice color to the meatballs. This way, we will keep some moist because after we will cook the meatballs inside the tomato sauce. I think those should be enough. Oh, la, la. Actually, all of you are ready. And let's prepare the next batch the same way. Easy, put them in. And let's wait for one to two minutes until they are ready. And at this point, if you are about to ask me, Akis, there is any possibility to cook my meatballs inside the oven? I will answer you, of course, it is a possibility to do that, but they will not be as good as deep fried. We need the flour because the flour outside of the meatballs actually uh, will thicken the tomato sauce. So it's a part of the recipe. You have to do it traditionally. I know it seems a little bit unhealthy, but don't worry. The excess oil is going to the kitchen towel, so you don't care. And my meatballs are ready. Perfect. Now, take the oil to the back. It's hot. Make sure there's no kids inside the kitchen. And it's time to prepare our sauce. We need a pan. And we need to start this lovely procedure. Extra virgin Greek olive oil, onion, And it's very important to be very tasty, the tomato sauce. My meatballs are very tasty, so if the tomato sauce is also tasty, then the taste of the whole dish will be to another level. Now, onion is ready, one clove of garlic, thinly slice it, and it's time to put everything together in the bun. Now, in Greece, we use in tomato sauces lots of spices. One of the most common spices we use is cinnamon. So I want to put inside one cinnamon stick because cinnamon with tomato giving this Asian amazing taste we want. Now, I have a few ingredients here, which is oregano. We love oregano in Greece. And stir everything together until they are caramelized. Now, I will add some sugar inside the pan. Why? Because tomatoes, are very ripe and very tasty only at the summer. When you don't take in tomatoes in the summer, they are not so ripe, so that's why we have to help a little bit with the acidity and add some sugar to the pan. Now, these are Greek freshly grated tomatoes. Now, it's time for tomato paste. We need to give some body to this lovely sauce. So add the tomato paste to the pan and make sure that you will cook the tomato paste with a pan. If you cook now the tomato paste, the food will be better. Why? Because tomato paste will make more thicker the sauce. And uh, when the tomato paste is ready, it's time to add the rest of the ingredients. Tomato, some water. Lovely. And of course, the meatballs. This is lovely. What did I forget? Huh? Seasoning. Salt and pepper for the sauce. Don't be cheapy. Add good amount of pepper, because we want pepper, and some salt. And now you have to be patient and faithful to the love of Greece-ness. 
and let the tomato work to the meat for 10 to 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, the food will be ready to be served. And my meatballs are ready. This is lovely. I will show you how exactly we serve them in Greece. We need good amount of potatoes, French fries. We need good amount of French fries, this amount, okay? And we need this lovely meatball. As you can see, the sauce is perfect. It's exactly as it should be. You think those are enough? Maybe a few more. And of course, always we serve these lovely meatballs with feta cheese, olive oil, and of course, some oregano. And this is it. This is Meatballs Greek Way. And now it's time to try a little bit of my lovely meatballs. Subscribe to my channel. Make comments underneath the video and of course share this lovely recipe with your friends. It's very hot so I'm trying to gain some time before I get extremely... How is... Burn? Burn? Burn. Yeah. Yes before I get burned, so let's try it. Ladies and gentlemen, add some mint to the meatballs, add everything I did, do everything exactly as I did, and I swear you will have the most lovely, delicious meatballs ever.